I want to go to the point. 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 I want habiéndolo yo desechado para que no reine sobre Israel llena tu cuerno de aceite y ven y te enviaré a Isaí de Belén porque de sus hijos me he provisto de rey verso 6, chapter 16, verse 1 now the Lord said to Samuel how long will you melt for soul for soul she I have rejected him from reigning over Israel Fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse, the Bethlehem, for I have provided myself a king among his sons. Amen. Esto es muy sencillo. El mensaje de esta noche es una sola palabra. This is very simple. There's only one word in the message tonight. Yo quiero que usted mire a alguien que llegue a cerca. I want you to look at somebody by you. Y le va a decir. You better tell them. Llegaré. I will get there. Dígame, yo no sé qué quiero hacer. Hay que estar más. Say to the person by you. Llegaré. I will get there. Que tal si usted levanta su mano y me permite hablar. Like I always say, like I always say, La vida de la vida the word of vida is, is, is fascinating. If my calculation is not right, 67 chapters are destined to the word of days. 67 chapters. Nadie me lo contó. No one told me about it. Lo busqué uno por uno. I looked at them one by one. Without counting, more than 50 references that are in the Old Testament. They talk about David in the New Testament. Significates that his name is predominant. This thing that his name is predominant in the Bible. Aunque las personas no saben en detalle la historia de David y Goliat. Aunque los hombres no saben en detalle la historia de David y Goliat. Pienso que esta historia es conocida en el mundo entero. I believe everyone knows the world about this story. Yo he sabido estar sentado en casa viendo las noticias. I know being at my house listening to the news. Y el reportero que está dando una noticia. And the reporter that's giving the news. Si habla de alguien que está en desventaja. If he's going to be talking about someone that is in a disadvantage. Utiliza la frase esto es como David y Goliat. He uses the words like David and Goliath. Porque significa que es una es una es una historia muy conocida. Well, this piece is a story that's very well known. Pero yo tengo que hacer una aclaración con todo respeto. But I have to make a clarification. El que usted se sepa una historia de memoria. Just because you know a story by by memory. No significa que usted la entienda. Doesn't mean that you know about it. You understand it. Nosotros nos aprendemos muchos versos de memoria. We know a lot of verses of the Bible. Y eso es bueno. That is good. Pero una cosa que usted se converso. But what thing is to say a verse? Una cosa que usted lo entienda. Does it not want to understand it? Y yo quiero que esta noche. And I want us tonight. Nosotros entendamos cosas en esta historia. For us to understand certain things in the Bible. Analizaremos cosas importantes. We're going to analyze things that are important. Porque aunque vamos a hablar de la historia de David y Goliath. So we're going to talk about David and Goliath. En esta historia. In this story. En realidad hablamos. This talks more about God than the real life. But for us to even understand what it says, let me let leave Goliath and David for a second. Is that I need for us to be clear in a theological manner? For us to be able to understand the scripture. Sometimes we present a picture in the Bible in life. And one of the problems that we have with Pentecostals is that we see the devil everywhere. And we don't learn to see God. And I want you today for us to take those things and for us to put them in heaven. To be able to understand David and Goliath, we have to understand something of God. And I want to start to explain to you that it doesn't matter what your eyes see. No importa el gigante que usted enfrenta. No importa el gigante que usted enfrenta. Y no siempre va a estar en control. God is always going to be in control. Nosotros nos dejamos llevar por la vista. We always let ourselves go by our sights. Pero qué me explica un dato. Pero let me explain a detail for you. En cierta ocasión. En cierta ocasión. La Biblia habla de un hombre. The Bible 
Ahora vamos a suerte. Él se acuerda. Y él sueña. Y la Biblia dice que en el sueño. Este hombre veía. Una escalera. Desde tierra. Llegaba al cielo. Y este hombre veía. Ángeles. Que bajaban. También le veía ángeles. Que subían. No sé cuánto ustedes han escuchado esa historia. Pero tal vez no lo hemos entendido bien. Y Vamos al principio. Donde todo comenzó. 
where it all began. How did that day begin? You know that day began like a normal day. It's very important. Something important we need to learn about God. There's some things that God is going to do in our lives. That are going to start with a day, uh, a coming day. So the story of David and Goliath. It doesn't start in the battleground. Young people, listen clearly. What I'm going to say right now, you're not going to like it. What I'm going to say, anyways. And it's this. It's, it's this. You know how the battle, that, you know how the victory of David started. It is started in the camp. The victory started at home. When his father told him, go to, go to the war where your friend your And the Bible says, and he shows the Bible says that David did what his father said. David did not go to war because he wanted to. David went to war because God said that his father said that. What this means is that his victory started when he learns to be obedient at home. Hello. That you're rejoicing the whole weekend. That's in the speaking tongues. And then you get home. And then you continue to be the same person. The same person. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. We have to learn how the sons of God have created. David obeys his father. David goes to war. I want to explain this to you. Today. Today I want to talk about three people. I want to talk about three people. So I want to say three people. Three people. Number one. I want to talk about the older brother of David. Number two. We're going to talk about the lion. And number three. Let me correct something with you. Is that the biggest problem with David was fighting the giant that was bigger than God. I'm going to explain that to you later. David is war. His father told him to bring food. That means that he did not go to war as a warrior. He went as a, as a waiter. Todo comienza por el servicio. Eso no cuadra. That does not. Que tú quieras ser. Que tú quieras ser una cantante famosa. Y si te mandan a limpiar el baño de la iglesia. Eso no funciona. Que tú quieras ser el predicador más aclamado. Y no quieras comenzar predicando una. Y no quieras comenzar predicando una. Todo comienza por el servicio. Todo comienza por el servicio. Good service. David va a la guerra para llevar la comida a su hermano. So he went there to eat food. David tiene un hermano mayor. Then has an older brother. Llamado Eliab. Called Eliab. Escuche bien. Listen to this. En la guerra. That in war. Antes de enfrentar a Goliat. Before you fight Goliat. David enfrentó otro gigante llamado su hermano. He fought another giant that was his brother. Le voy a explicar por qué. Let me explain to you this one. Para una persona se considera un gigante. Because in order for a person to be considered a giant. Tiene que sobresalir más de lo normal. He has to be taller than all. And Eliab, in the treatment that he did with his sons, he was further than he was. Listen to this. Eliab sees him, his brother, and his brother tells him, What are you doing here? Number one, his brother was not happy. His brother was not happy. This is important. Because it means, as the rule says, 
It means that they should not have anointed David as fools. It means that they should have blessed the older brother. So he has him. How Elias feels when he should have received the anointing. But he's seen that David is being anointed. When Elias saw the war, Elias used the law. Because I'm going to tell you a secret. He who tries to stop you, he wants to be like you. You What are you doing here? Listen to what Eliab says. Who did you lead those sheep to? That is, he was making them feel bad. Where did you lead those small sheep to? It looks here that everything is going well. When does Eliab goes beyond the point? And all the, it takes the attitude of the giants. When Eliab says, I know you're... I know how uh, you are. Yo la de tu I know what you have in your heart. Yo sé que para ver la ha I know that you came to see war. El a and starts to treat him bad. Do you know why David was in war? David was in war to bring him food. David was in war para to bring his brother soon. His brother restricts him.
After he ignores. Number one. Number one. I want you to understand. That there's people. That you win by ignoring them. I've been preaching for 16 years. And I heard people saying things about me. And they said, you, you know what people said about you? And I said, who? This person. What he said. And they tell me what he said. And they're waiting for my answer. You know what I say? Oh, I beat them by ignoring them. Ignoring them. So, we need to understand who our strength of his shirt is. Someone is listening to me. So, number one, there's people I, I, I beat by ignoring them, but there's people, which is the second person, that I cannot ignore them. There's people that I have to confront. The Eliabs, you ignore them. The Goliath, you have to confront. Because you have to learn to behave. Depending on the place. And the situation that you may be at. So say, Eliab, I'm going to ignore him. Goliath, I'm going to confront him. So now I'm going to ask you a question. What do you believe that you need to be able to confront the lion? Whoever answers this question, I'm going to give you an offering. Hands up, hands up. What do you think? Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. But in this battle, amen. What do you think? Faith, amen, amen. So what else? Una armadura. Una armadura. Amen, amen. Amen. Una palabra de. A word of God. Amen, amen. What? Amen. 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 Sí, sí, amén. Sí, preparación. Preparación. Un sueño, un sueño que ofrenda. Amén. Unción. Una qué? 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 Is the anointing. 
Dios le dice, aguántate. Y Dios le dice, 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 Samuel, he said, Samuel, you have to learn something. I see him. I don't see something. Samuel, you have to learn something. I don't see something. Samuel, I see hearts. So what does God teach? God teaches. You don't let yourself be intimidated by the stature. I see the heart. Parece que la vida sabía eso. Y cuando todo Israel caía a Goliath, todo el mundo se intimidaba porque todos miraban estatura. Pero cuando David dijo a ese gigante, yo no voy a acabar, es porque David dice, ustedes lo están mirando por fuera, yo lo estoy mirando por dentro, yo lo estoy mirando por dentro, Let's go to the left quickly. Someone knows how many, how many 
¿Cuántas tenían? Abrí. ¿Cuántas tenían? Abrí. That doesn't just mean that Goliath had four pillars. That does not mean that. You know what that means? How many rocks he had? How many did he use? How many did he have? Please, raise your hand like this. How many did he have? How many did he use? How many did he have? How many did he use? How many did he have? How many did he use? Please clap for yourself. If he takes five rocks, and out of five rocks, he uses one, that means that David was prepared to fight a longer time than what the battle was taking. No, that means that there is giants that are easier to beat than what you think. Que Goliat 
that Goliath. It's easier than I thought. So just pay attention for me. Pay attention for what I'm going to explain to you. The problem was not Goliath. The problem was not Goliath. You're going to say, what? I'm going to explain to you. Oiga lo que le voy a decir. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. En realidad, In reality, tu enemigo nunca desaparece. Your enemy never disappears. Le voy a explicar por qué. I'm going to explain to you why. Lo voy a decir lento para que me entiendan. I'm going to say it slow so you can understand. Le voy a explicar algo del mundo espiritual. Because I'm going to explain something of the spiritual world. Tu enemigo nunca desaparece. Your enemy never disappears. ¿Sabe por qué? You know why? Porque antes de irse. Because before he leaves. Él se va a reproducir en alguien más. He's going to reproduce himself as someone else. Oiga lo que le voy a decir. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. El día que David mató a Goliath. The day that David beat Goliath, nació un gigante más grande. Another giant that was greater was born. Llamado Saúl. Called Saul. Le voy a explicar. I am going to explain to you. La Biblia enseña. The Bible teaches you. Que Saúl tenía celos de David. That Saul was jealous of David. Sabes cuándo comenzaron los celos de Saúl? You know when this jealousy began. Los celos de Saúl comenzaron. The jealousy began. El día que Goliath muere. The day that David died. Lo que significa What means that Goliath left? It reproduces in someone else. Called Saul. Listen to what I want to explain to you. We all talk about Goliath because we let ourselves go by the stature. But Saul was a battle that was worse than Goliath. Saul was a battle that was worse. I'm going to explain to you. Saul was able to do things in David that the life was not able to. I'll explain to you. Saul was able to do things that the life was not able to. Goliath was not able to intimidate him. Saul was able to intimidate him. David beat Goliath in seconds. But the Bible teaches that David fought years or hid for years from Saul. He beat Goliath in seconds. Saul, he hides for years. I want to explain. Goliath never made David cry. Saul made him cry. The Bible teaches that when David knew that Saul wanted to kill him, David confronted with Jonathan. He said that the Bible says they embraced. The Bible says they kissed. The Bible says they both cried. But the Bible says it's saying that David cried more. Goliath didn't make him cry. Goliath didn't make him flee. Goliath was not able to make him sad. But Saul was able to. It's important for us to understand. You know what the life provoked? The life provoked for David to be to be cried out of no one in, in Israel. You know what Saul provoked? Saul provoked. Saul provoked for David to be in the house of his enemies. Let me explain verse two. Let me have understood. Verse seven. Chapter 21, verse 10. Oiga lo que dice. Listen what it says. It says, Then they arose and fled that day and fled from before the soul. Look at where they ran to. And he went to Akis, the king of God. David, David, the king of God. Goes to the rey Akis. To a king Akis. Where Akis was the rey? Where was Akis king? Diga me en God. Say en God. Diga me en God. Say en God. Ahora una pregunta importante. Now there's an important question. Sabe quién vivía en God? You know who lived in God? Sabe quién vivía en God? Do you know who lived in God? Le voy a explicar. I'm going to explain to you. En God vivía. En God. Goliat y su familia. The Lion and his family lived. La Biblia dice. The Bible says. Goliat Go be the lion of God. When David killed Goliath, Israel 
Israel receives him. When Saul persecutes him, Saul makes him go to the house of his enemies. Let me explain it so you should understand. It's like if you had killed Bill Adam, and then you go to live where Bill Adam lived, and you're in the neighborhood of his cousin and his brother, David, we see him in the house, in the place where Goliath was at. Goliath did not provoke that. Saul provoked that. What that means is that when you see Goliath and Saul, you're going to recognize something. You're going to recognize that Saul was a giant that was feared more than was feared more than Goliath. So now I'm going to tell you something you're not going to like. But I got to tell you how sad it would be for those that, that, that treat you worse are those in your own house. I want to stop here. You know how many souls we have in our congregations? People say they can't accomplish it, no one, no one else can accomplish it. When David goes to Saul, Saul so say you're not going to be able to fight. Where does Saul take this from? Because he was the important one. And he said, if I can't, you can't. And I want you to understand something. If there's things you have not accomplished, let's pray for God to restore you. If you don't do it, no one does it. That's the mind of Saul. People says, says, I can it. That Saul can't, stay. he can't do it. He persecuted for years. This is something important. Because we're having so many people that are hurting. They don't let the youth grow. They don't let them develop. I want to tell you the love of God. This is a little bit hard. Just in case you're invited no more. It was a pleasure to know you. But I want you to understand something. Listen to this. You cannot permit for Goliath to reproduce you. We need to understand something. Who our enemies are and who are our allies. You know why David did not fight with Eliam? Because David knew that the war was against the, uh, the giant, not with his family. Tell the person, no, I'm family. Para desarrollar tu carácter. I said to the 
y aquí en Iberia hay un problema que nosotros tenemos es que Dios nos promete algo hoy y que vemos que se cumpla ayer y que usted entienda algo pero quiero que usted entienda algo Stay in that corner. Stay there. Digamos que yo soy la promesa. Say that I am the promise, or he is the promise. Digamos que él es el cumplimiento. And I am the fulfillment. Cuando Dios nos promete algo, when God promises something, nosotros queremos que ocurra esto. We want this to happen. Abre los brazos. Open your hands. Dios me prometió. He promised me. Que se cumpla. Oh, I want to fulfill. Sí o no? Yes or no? Vamos, no puedes creer en el Espíritu. No puedes creer en el Espíritu. No puedes creer en el Espíritu. Dios te promete algo. But this is what you have to understand. El medio the middle ground de la promesa of the promise y el cumplimiento and the fulfillment el medio the middle. Hay algo que se llama. There's something called se llama? something called Diga conmigo, proceso. say a process. Te tengas un momentito. Te tengas un momentito. Dios no solo oiga, oiga. Listen, 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 listen. A, a algo. How many people have God promised something to? Y And no one has ever talked about it. Porque bien, ¿sí o no? ¿A cuánto de ustedes le prometido algo? Okay. Le voy a hacer una pregunta, sea sincero. Okay. No disimule ni ponga cara de espiritual. Don't look like you're spiritual now. ¿A cuánto de ustedes? How many of you? Hay que no There are promises that are not fulfilled. Levanta la mano. Raise your hand. Baje la mano. Put your hand out. I'm going to explain to you now. What happens is that God has promised certain things. Listen clearly. But before God gives you the promise, He wants to make sure that your neck is statue to be able to live in that level. I'm going to go back.
You're going to find yourself with people que van a estar bien contigo that they're going to be okay with you hasta que se den cuenta de tu potencial. Until they recognize your potential. Listen. Hay algo importante que no hemos entendido. There's some point that we haven't understood. Cuando Dios hace what God does que tú te enfrentes con gente como Saúl He makes you confront some people like Saul. Es porque Dios te está enseñando algo. It's just God is teaching you something. Dios te está diciendo. God is saying. Cuando tú llegues a la posición de líder. When you become a leader. Cuando llegues a la posición de pastor. When you are a pastor. Cuando llegues a la posición de líder en la jefe. When you're a leader in a jefe. ¿Sabes por qué Dios primero te va a hacer enfrentar a Saul? You know why you have to confront Saul? Porque Dios quiere que tú sepas. Because He wants you to understand. Cuando tú llegues a liderar. That when you get to leadership. La clase de líder que Dios
Oi, vamos dizer que está abaixo. Vai está abaixo. Está abaixo. Vai está. Você vai ver com ele. You're gonna realize que é uma coisa aliada. That one thing was aliada. Mas eu também vou mudar. But you're gonna recognize que o aliado era mais grande que o aliado. Was bigger than the other. Significa. That means. Lo vejo a él. I be him. Ahora puedo ir un escalón más allá. That he goes one more step. Pero con lo que yo le explique. But what I explain to you, you're going to recognize that Saul was bigger than Goliath. Saul did more damage. Saul did more hurtful. 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 Así por todo el pie. Just, just like you are. Stand up. No se siente. Don't sit down. Porque después pienso que te quiero que yo siente. Because then I think you want me to sit. No se siente. Don't sit down. Escucha bien. Listen clearly. Una cosa era su estatura. His stature was one thing. Él. He. Mortificó a David. Mortified David. Pero este le hizo más fuerte. But he was more powerful. Pero este lo hizo llorar más. But he made him cry more. Lo que significa. What that means que a medida que la vida iba creciendo, is that the measure of David's growth, iba creciendo sus adversarios, is that where Saul also grew. Lo que significa, what that means, que lo que tú estás viviendo, is that what you're living through. Si tú piensas que ya no puedes más, if you think you can't handle it no more, y Dios permite que tú lo vivas, and God allows you to live it, es porque Dios te está diciendo, it's because God is telling you, que no te has dado cuenta, that you have not recognized, que tienes una crisis mayor, that you have a crisis, porque él sabe que
I am not going to say tonight. 
God shows me people in crisis because God does not need to show you just by reading the Bible I know there's people in crisis the Bible says that the world you have affliction that's simple so I am not going to say that God is revealing that to me but I know because I read the Bible that there's people here that are in crisis in dolor in pain but now listen I am going to do something with you you're not going to like but I have to do it when we speak of soul mistreating you soul hurts you soul steps on you that brings forth a sensation that makes you feel as a victim but why if you're not a victim but the one that's doing the victimizing you say what do you feel about this they have been my life of living hell there's people that have been speaking okay let's stop let's pray for you the first thing how many have you mistreated Say the person by you. You're not as holy as you think. 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 I know there's people here from different congregations. I want us to do something. I want you to go to where your district or your congregation is. I want you by district or by congregation. This is important. Look at the people in your congregation. Look at the people in your congregation.